everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Emerald Coast and we're in our trusty old Ford here. Just heading back to the farm with a little seed. That's right. We're going to plant some corn today here on the coast. The weather is great. Look at it. 60, 62 degrees. The soil is a little dry. A little dry. It's not bad. It is a little dry though. And uh, that might be something we have to look at. It's a little wobbly. This thing's a little, got a little weight on it. A little weight. But yeah, we got our old... Uh, we got the John Deere 4440 hooked up to the 7200 planter. I think that's what it is. It's 7200. Our trusty old Ford 850. It's a very, very nice truck. Really nice mod from the folks over at LK Used Mods and J&M Farms. Go check them out on Facebook. All right. Take our straps off here. This, that one, and that one, and that one. All right. Yep. Here it is. The John Deere. Oh, John Deere 7000. That's what it is. And we have these liquid tanks on them, but we're not going to use these today because I don't know. I I use the automatic application for precision farming. So let's jump over here real quick. I'm pretty sure for corn, if uh, if my information is correct that you need like 180 to 200 kilograms per hectare for corn so on the high end and we met that already with one pass of the fertilizer spreader so i think and ph is good everything's great it's just ready to plant i think next time when we plant corn i'm going to put down i'm going to do manual control of the fertilizer and i'm going to cut it in half and then we'll use the FERT tanks on the 7000. That way we can apply some fertilizer with our seed because I think that'd probably be more realistic. I'm uh, pretty sure that's probably how it works. I, I don't know if this is actually fertilizer that they put in. I know it's like a seed starter, fertilizer, blah, blah, blah. It's anywho, it goes into the ground with the seed and it helps, helps all that good stuff. I don't know if these have covers. They do look at this fancy animated covers. How cool. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. All right, let's jump in our Oliver here. Grab our first pallet. If I calculated my math correctly, we should need around 50, 5,700 liters of uh, corn. That's all we should need. 5,700 liters of corn. Um, if my calculations were correct. Hear the plane flying ahead. Every so often there's a flyby of a fighter jet because in the real life in the real world uh, this this map is themed after a place where the map author lives and I think he said there's only like 30 miles from Air Force Base and apparently there's flights overhead all the time so he added that which is a pretty neat little touch my sound turned down no nope. just my headphones maybe oh there we go <laughs> ah! every time all right Grab our seed here. Pull up to the back of the planter. We can't manually put it in, but we'll try to make it as uh, as close to the real thing as we can. All right? There we go. We'll jump in our tractor and we'll re hit refill. Filling up the corn boxes. So it only holds 360 liters of corn. So we're going to be doing some refills. Quite a few refills, actually. That's okay, because we got our... We're not far. All of our fields are right here next to the farm. In fact, we'll just kind of leave this, Oliver. Just right down here next to the truck. Cut the old Oliver off. Thank you, Nostalgic Farmer. Nice little mod jump back in here at John Deere and we'll start planting some corn. We're going to plant some corn. Maybe, yeah, let's do it. Let's plant some corn. Like I said, um, I really want to use these liquid tanks eventually, but... Oh, she purrs like a kitten. Doesn't she? I'll tell you what, let's head... Um, let's just tag the big field. Let's just get to work. I mean, it's going to take time. There's no way around it. Got to plant some corn. 
get it in the ground, all that good stuff. Because I, I really want to use the, the corn dryer. I haven't had the opportunity to use that yet. I really want to. So let's go ahead and do our end rows first. I know in real life, like when you plow, you don't do end rows, but when uh, when you plant, you plant the end rows first. Usually when you plow, you leave those for the last, I'm pretty sure. Because there's no point like plowing it and then you're turning around on it, compacting it the whole time, right? Right? All right, let's lower that down. Fire it up. Make sure we got everything the way we want. Oh, and I didn't tell you. Here, we'll run over here real quick. Oops, I forgot. Clean up the yard. I got all the stuff kind of put away where I want. Um, this this is maize seed or corn seed. That's all this will plant is corn. It's not magic seed. It's actual just corn seed. This is the mod uh, from LS, not LS Farming Company, um, Farmer Andy's website. I can never think of the name of it. But if you go into pallets here, you can see we actually have specifically priced seed. So each seed is a different price and it's specific too so if you wanted to plant if we want to plant wheat um, which we're going to do this winter we're going to plant wheat barley or oats i haven't decided yet we're going to plant some kind of winter crop and then next year we're going to plant um, soybeans so we're it, we'll do corn like every other year i think that's the plan i haven't decided yet right now because i want to do I want a dual crop as much as I can. Or we might do like corn. Let's look at the. Because if we're planting corn now, we should be able to harvest it. And then we can turn around and plant uh, pretty much anything we want. Wheat, barley, oat, canola, cotton. No, no cotton. Canola. Um, yeah, I want to be able to harvest it first this summer and then turn around and plant corn right away. So that might be what we do is actually this year we're going to do corn and then we'll do wheat or barley and then we'll come back and do soybeans and then after the soybeans are harvested we'll plant corn again the next spring blah 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 just kind of your uh, what I call the uh, what I call a row crop plan or rotation I know a lot of places do that but here in uh, West Tennessee row crop planters that's kind of how they do it I know in uh, if you watch Big Tractor Power, southeastern or southwestern Kentucky, that's how a lot of times how they do it. Get to plant in. I was going to use the realistic seed mod, the one where it, the seed usage is realistic to real life, but I mean, you wouldn't, we wouldn't use hardly any. And I just don't, I think it kind of breaks the game. Um, economy so we're just gonna go with this this is a nice little mod it's a really nice little mod it's not bad not bad at all it's got attachable hoses right here no PTO because of course it's not PTO driven I'm pretty sure it's, it's shaft driven yep I bet you um, it's really nice really really nice definitely worth checking out you can get it from the in-game mod hub that's the even best part about this both these mods right here you don't have to go to any Facebook site or any Patreon site or any of that stuff. You got some old iron right here. Well, kind of old-ish iron. Not real, real old iron, but kind of some classic-y old iron stuff. Right here. Right here for our enjoyment, which is really nice. It's really nice to see this stuff come to the mod hub. Very happy with it. I like John Deere stuff. I'm not like a John Deere guy. Sorry that volumes a little loud. I'm not a John Deere guy, but I do like the John Deere stuff, and it seems like there's a lot of really, really good John Deere mods, because modders, people like John Deere, modders like John Deere, so it uh, gives us the ability to have stuff. I'd like to see them add some more older stuff, especially some of the older Agco stuff. I think it'd be really cool to see some older Agco equipment, um, the gleaners, and all that kind of stuff to the game, because it is Agco. So I think it would be able to make it into the game. I've noticed a lot of times here lately we're getting a lot of Lizard brand equipment, which is probably branded equipment that isn't in the game. So they just slap Lizard on it, but that's okay because it looks pretty cool. Some of it's kind of neat. I think it's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and get these end rows put in. 
and then we'll, we'll talk about what's what's kind of the plan what's the plan with the farm we're gonna clear out some trees uh, we'll be planting corn for the next little bit probably for the next couple hours it's gonna take me a couple hours and that might be all I have time to do this week I'm squeezing in farm sim when I can I was gonna start a surviving the aftermath series but I have there's it's the game is still in early access It is almost finished but it's still in early access and I don't like to play early access games because you have to keep doing new saves and it's really frustrating. Um, I can do it without. Set our water width. I can just do. Uh, I can just do a gameplay without. But I, I have. I have heard that there's an update coming very very soon. But that does. I, I'm probably still going to start it next week because there's so much new content to the game, and I'm really excited to check it out. See, we've already used 35 percent of our seed. I wonder, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Let's get creative here. This is, what, this is what we should do. Let's do this. Let's have fun. Um, Cause we know we're gonna need, we know, we know we're gonna need, um, we're not gonna need all three pallets, but we know we're gonna need two full pallets of seed. So let's go over here. And grab our handy dandy auger cart here. The lizard auger, our auger cart. Another one of those great mods in Lizard brand. They make some really nice stuff, those folks at Lizard. <laughs> I've always wondered why is it Lizard? Why did why did Giants name it Lizard? That's what I've always wondered. I'm al I've always been curious to why Giants named it Lizard. No one, no one's ever been able to answer that for me. Although I don't think I've ever asked the question. Yes, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put two full pallets of seed in this hopper wagon, and we're gonna park it over by the field, and then we can just refill right out of it. That's what we're doing. I know it. In real life, I'd stand up here on top of the pallet, violate the rules of OSHA, and cut each bag and dump it in there. This is gonna work. This is how we want it. It's gonna work great. Make that pallet go away. See, I used to think that, oh, I wish the pallet stayed. I don't now. <laughs> I don't wanna spend time getting rid of that stuff. I used to, like when I had, and maybe one day like in the future, but you can have too much realism because at the end of the day, it is supposed to be a game. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have you know, eight, ten hours a day to put into running a farm like in real, real, real time. That'd be crazy to do that. It'd be fun, but it'd be crazy. Fill this up, and there we go. We'll have two full pallets to seed, pretty much. Um, we'll probably have to use that last pallet to finish off, but this should get us should get us through quite a bit. Of planning. I don't want to use. I don't want to put the rest of the seed in because then we don't have anywhere to put it. Eventually, I want to put in for that CCS's um, silos here. Where's it at? Uh, this guy right here, this little GSI hopper bin, sixty-five thousand dollars though, so it's kind of expensive. We could put the Meridian smooth bins in, but they're quite a bit cheaper. That might be what we do. We may use the Meridian smooth bins. But the nice thing about these GSI hopper bins is they have an auger built into them. But this one doesn't. We have to put an auger on it. This one has one built in. So that might be why we, what, that might be what we use. One decided. Pull this over here to the side of the field. See? Boom. Farming like real farmers. That's right. Kicking butt and plant corn. That's what we're doing. Jump back in here, the 4440. So we got a 4955 right here, John Deere 4955, and then John Deere 4440, which I like. This one's got a front loader attacher on it, but I haven't used it yet. I just used a little Oliver. It works great. I'm trying to check out this mod here and see if I like it. 
Yeah, it's very nice. Like I said, um, precision farming should tell us now. See, our nitrogen level's perfect. And all we had to do was one application of solid fertilizer with auto apl application. So I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do manual application. We're going to do a set weight, so many kilograms per hectare, um, or so many pounds per acre. And, and, but the game is kilograms and hectares, really. It's kind of how it's built. So that's what we're going to do. And then that way, when we plant, we can put in some liquid fertilizer. I don't know if this takes liquid or solid, but I'm going to, if it does take solid, I'm going to edit it to take liquid. I'll just go in the XML and change it. I think I can do that. But we're going to, we want to use this because we want to apply the fertilizer slash seed starter slash whatever it is with the seed as it goes in the ground. I think that'd be the nice way to do it. And then, and then we should be done. We should be done. We're not going to do side dressing or any of that stuff here on Emerald Coast. We have really, really good soil, so we don't have to do that. <laughs> we don't have to irrigate because we'll get plenty of rain. In fact, the soil is actually kind of dry. Uh, the soil is at, I promise, I promise we'll, we'll actually plant corn here at some point. The soil is, let's see, 9%. I'm pretty sure this is soil moisture, moisture right? It's 9%, and then this is crop moisture, which there is no crop, but I guess it's just generic ground crop moisture. Oh no, is that 9%? Oh, there's no crop here because that's not mowable grass. Yeah. So maybe it's 15. I don't know. I get confused about this. I do. I get confused. And this this is like fertilization rate's only 33%, but that's, that's broken because uh, precision farming tells us that it's perfect. See? We have 200 kilograms per hectare. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, it, we may actually get a little dry because if we jump over here to, where's it at? Seed, go over to corn, drought resistance is low, potential for drought damage increases when the soil water content is below 12%. Use the measurement tool to look yeah, I think the soil water is at 9%, but it rains. 80% chance of rain 1.4 millimeters it's not tons of rain but it's enough rain thursday's a lot seven seven millimeters but we got rain coming actually thursday tonight around midnight early a.m and then later in the morning looks like later in the day so on and off all day tomorrow we're gonna have rain showers which will be perfect because we got great conditions to plant and then tomorrow we'll get rain which the seeds will love the rain and things will go great. It'll be absolutely perfect. It'll be epic. It'll be monumental. All right, I think how I'm going to finish this off is we're going to do a little video montage of the planning. And that'll be it for this episode today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, you can see we're just going to be planting some corn. In the next episode, we might do some contracts. I don't know, because uh, we're kind of broke. <laughs> I got $3,000 in the bank. We might do some contracts because we have all the equipment to do those contracts. That'll probably be a time-lapse episode. I may jump in there and do a bunch of contracts. Time-lapse or like a video montage with a little voiceover. Just do something something kind of small for it. Or And uh, eventually we got to start working on trees because we got to start clearing this area here. Um, this will be second. Actually, we're going to start clearing this area over here. These three land sections here because we're going to be adding some fields over here. That's what we're going to be doing. So that way we have all of our field usage maximized. Because we're not going to be doing horses. Um, just, just not interested in horses. Alright. Yep. Let's jump into a video montage. And I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. See you next time.